Hi, this is Dean Pomerleau coming to you from Wexford, Pennsylvania. It's June 3rd and I figured I'd do another update on my garden progress. Uh, I finally finished planting everything and uh, thought I'd show you what I've got in the ground. First off, uh, this is probably the first bed that I did uh, in February. Uh, planted it out. It's basically a bunch of little garlics. I had some garlic cloves that had uh, started to sprout and I figured hey I'll just put them out and see how they do. And they're doing quite well. I'm sure there are lots of garlic uh, cloves growing underneath the ground here. Alright, now I'm moving away from my garlic to the side of the house. A uh, couple things I planted in the fall are a blueberry bush coming along nicely and more recently a raspberry or maybe blackberry bush. You can see there are some berries starting to form already on this, uh, on this plant. Um, along this trench along the house I've planted uh, a bunch of snap peas and uh, like green beans and yellow beans. You can see up close I've put fence uh, netting along the house for when these uh, these green beans and peas that I direct sowed start to grow they'll have something to climb. Now moving over to where my uh, greenhouse formerly was I've turned it into a large bed, uh, raised bed using the concrete blocks from the base of the greenhouse. Both their holes for putting uh, pots in for some of the pots that might be in or plants that might be invasive like these mints uh, as well as to just get more space. So I'll show you what I've got. These are mostly herbs and tomatoes. In fact the big tomato plant you see there nearly uh, must be over 10 feet tall is a tomato plant that I've been growing uh, all winter inside my greenhouse that I just planted in place, took it out of the pot and planted in place in the new bed I created. And as you can see now it's uh, really got a lot of tomatoes waiting to come out as well as blossoms. Uh, our tomatoes coming out green at this point but uh, will soon be, be turning red and I'll be harvesting them. Uh, down here is interesting. This is seeds I got from John Kohler, uh, Bolivian cucumber. So you can see uh, it's got a bunch of uh, runners that are really starting to take off. John said this is a really fast grower once it gets going. Uh, as you can see, rosemary here. This is another John Kohler seed. This is a uh, Malabar spinach. I've got two more down the other end I'll show you in a while, but uh, they're also climbers and hot weather lovers, so I'm looking forward to them taking off soon. As I mentioned, I've got a whole row of various mints, uh, standard mints and uh, cinnamon and apple mints, all kinds of funky flavored mints. Uh, then in the bed here I've got uh, several rows of sweet basil, uh, chocolate basil, cinnamon basil, uh, not even sure what some of these basils are but all different varieties, Sorrento basil, something like that, uh, this guy with the very uh, crinkly leaves. Then I've got a quite a few plants of stevia. I love the sweetener stevia, so I have had great success with planting that last year. Most of these are actually from uh, a couple from seed, but mostly from cuttings from my hydroponic uh, hydroponic stevia plants inside. Uh, a couple different varieties of sage, three-colored sage. Um, Thyme and oregano in these areas here, doing very well. Uh, lemon balm, several lemon balm plants really taking off at the moment. You can see there. Uh, more sage, I love sage. Sage is a ta tasty plant. Um, and then a single tarragon, tarragon plant here. Uh, this, I believe, is an okra starting actually 
you might even be able to see there's a looks like a little pod starting. Then I've got a bunch of peppers, uh, pepper plants. Um, one, two, three, four in this side of the bed. Oh, here are the two more uh, Malabar spinach grown from seed indoors over a couple month period. Now outside here, hoping to take off soon. I'll be using a uh, some kind of string to allow them. John says, John Kohler says they're really runners, so uh, really vine-like plants. Here's another Bolivian cucumber starting down here with many offshoots and uh, some of them are already growing quite tall. Uh, and then a whole another row of pepper plants uh, bordering the house. Um, some hot, some green at this point, although I think most of them are red, are eventually going to be red. Uh, sorry about that. You can see this little plant has a pretty big, uh, pretty big pepper already on it, and another one, another one growing here. Um, this one looks like a jalapeno. Uh, you can see there's a nice jalapeno growing, despite the relatively small size of this plant. They're already fruiting, so I'm quite pleased with that. Another interesting uh, plant, or two plants that I'm growing here. These are, uh, let me step back a moment. Tomatillos that I started from seed and uh, have been growing in the greenhouse for several months now. Uh, transferred them to to the ground here. Um, what you can see on them is uh, lots of flowers uh, that are now turning to little pods. So there's a tomatillo pod that will fill up with what I consider to be a very tasty fruit cross, almost a cross between a fruit and a vegetable, tomatillos, I really like them. So you can see I'm getting a lot of these little, uh, almost like Chinese lantern pods, uh, along with flowers that will soon turn into their own pods. Uh, so I'm psyched about that. All right, now off to another part of the house. Uh, let's see. Starting over here, along the edge of the house, just today, from my last planting here was another row of snap peas and snow peas. Um, I will allow them to cr climb this brick wall uh, and we'll see their progress as the season uh, proceeds. Okay, over here, I just planted these yesterday. These are a little, a little mound of cucumbers, um, hoping to get get a good harvest of cucumbers. Uh, let's see, in here, what did I plant? Oh, cantaloupe seeds. So we had a cantaloupe yesterday, and now I've uh, put down some seeds to see if we can grow some cantaloupe. Here are my giant, although not so giant at this point, sunflowers. I think they may have gotten a little too pot bound, so they're not getting the super 20 feet tall that the seed packet claimed, but they're still doing well and we're getting a nice sunflower there. Oh, there's Zoe over there, my dog, through the window. At the base of the, the sunflowers, I've, these are uh, sh uh, seedlings I picked up from my compost pile. I believe they're probably, um, probably acorn squash that I decided, hey, they're growing so well, I might as well transplant them from the compost pile and uh, see if we can get some harvest from them. These I picked up at Lowe's yesterday. They're uh, sweet potato seedlings. So I love sweet potatoes and uh, we'll see what we can get for yield. I'm just experimenting. <clears throat> uh, ignoring those for a second. Uh, more, five more plants of sweet potatoes. Uh, and more cucumbers from yesterday. All right, and then uh, along the border of the patio, we've got a bunch of different varieties of tomatoes in uh, tomato cages and some of them outside. Uh, this is a set of strawberries, mostly grown or almost exclusively grown from seed uh, in my basement over the last few months. Really starting to take off and Give me some pretty flowers. And soon turn into strawberries. Many of these are already 
already are if you look closely. Uh, more tomatoes in a tomato cage. Um, roses, a rose bush doing really, really well. In fact, I'm uh, harvesting the petals and adding those as color and a little bit of uh, extra variety to my salads. Um, more tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. going to really have a bumper harvest of tomatoes. Look how big these are already. It's just the first of June and because I started these in the basement uh, from seed and then uh, kept them in my greenhouse for uh, probably a month, month and a half, uh, they're already quite mature and bearing quite a bit of fruit, although virtually all of these are still green now. And then three more tomato plants that I put in the ground. Uh, I noticed some what appeared to be damage yesterday. There's a skin from a tomato that I think a rabbit got. And so I put up this, uh, this little barrier fence. It's short, but I'm hoping it'll prevent the rabbits from getting it at these uh, tomato plants, which are doing quite well, and I don't want to lose them. All right, moving along. Let's see. Here we've got... Uh, nasturtiums doing very well. Uh, I'm harvesting quite a bit from them of both flowers and leaves and adding them to my salad each day. Uh, there's the flower on this one. Under here I also appeared to get some rabbit damage to some purslane. Uh, there's one, there's one, there's where is it? There are some stalks in here that uh, appear to be, oh yeah there they are to be chewed off by rabbits, so I'm keeping them under that little container for now. Uh, here we've got a bed of a few more garlics up here at the front, but most of these are onions and scallions, um, yellow sweet onions and red onions. Uh, I'm thinking they're probably doing pretty well under the ground. Yeah, you can see down here. Uh, getting some definite bulbing going on, so that's encouraging. Uh, lots of flowers that I've, or near flowers, that I've been chopping off and adding to my salad as they appear. Uh, so these are doing extremely well. I'm going to get a bumper harvest, I think, of, of uh, onions. Let's see. Uh, more purslane and nasturtium over here. These are it's an upright variety of purslane, not the kind of very weedy crawler variety that you see as a weed in many places. Here's another nasturtium plant, purslane, nasturtium, purslane, nasturtium, purslane, and one final nasturtium. Very pretty flowers and very tasty. So, uh, going over here, there we come to the other side of the house. Um, this is along the driveway. I've got uh, two each of, let's see, this is probably acorn squash. You can see doing quite well. Uh, this one I think is zucchinis, uh, flowering nicely and starting to pot up. And I think this one is a yellow squash, uh, also flowering. I've got uh, one more of each of those lining the driveway. Figure I may have to put those, put the vines up on the driveway. Don't want to crowd into my neighbor's yard uh, when they start to get big, but we'll see. And then uh, the major workhorse of my mini farm is are my two raised beds here. Um, continue to do extremely well. I'll just give you a quick tour since I've done it before. Uh, radishes, red vein sorrel, which I love, very tasty. Uh, square foot of spinach, this is all based on square foot gardening. Uh, carrots, which I continue to, to harvest um, one a day pretty much. Uh, Lacchino kale, dinosaur kale, um, endive, tatso, spin or mustard, mustard. Regular mustard, green leaf, lettuce, uh, turnips, uh, which I'm harvesting as well. Uh, some, I don't know, bib lettuce, maybe. 
Fennel and dill, fennel, fennel, um, arugula. These are interesting. These are new. I, I don't. Uh, I planted these. These are my eggplants, and I don't know if you can see. The leaves are getting. Oh, 